everybody, welcome back to more RPG Maker MC Tutorials. I apologize for the late upload, it's been a month since my last upload. Anyway, I'm recording this on a different laptop because this is better performance than the computer I was working with. Let's just hope this all goes well. Anyway, before we do anything, we're gonna close this, we're gonna close RPG Maker MZ, and I'll tell you why in a second. We're gonna download something called Effects here. Firstly, what you're going to do is open your browser of choice, and what we're gonna do is go to your search engine, and we're gonna type Yep, we're going to type effects here, and we're going to go to this page. What you will see is this download page. You will need to download whatever these versions are, or at least the version of your computer. And you'll also need to download this, uh, effects here for RPG Maker MZ. It's a GitHub thing, and it's a necessary plugin for anything if, if you're making custom effects. Let's close this for now, as I already made one as I already downloaded the effects here for myself. Anyway, I've decided to save this folder to my desktop, but make sure you know where it is. You could also make a shortcut of this for later. I'll show you how to do it right now. The application is in Tool, and it's this. Show more options. Paste the shortcut. Eh, I'm just not going to make the shortcut. I'm just going to open it as is. And as you can see, you have this workspace to work with. It's a three-dimensional area with a lot of space to work with. You can play around with effects that you already made by going to here. Click on Files, and then click Open. Let's look for one of our... Let's look for an effect that we could use. Alright, it's in here. And it's in the effects folder. Hmm, let's try using... How about this one? Heal all. Okay. I'll cut the recording, and I'll be right back to show you what I've made. Hey everybody, I'm back, and I decided to choose this effect, and I decided to make every particle a random color among the rainbow. Once we have our custom effect installed, and it's ready to go, we're going to click as Save As Effects, and it must be in this EFKEFC file. That's what RPG Maker MZ reads. So we're going to type it is as whatever we want. I'm going to type in a rainbow effect. That sounds good. Let's save it. Let's close this. And what we'll do now is open back up RPG Maker MZ. Now we're back in our editor. And when you've got your RPG Maker MZ plugin installed, go to the plugin manager and make sure that this is the plugin you need. Without it, the, the effects will not render correctly, or just straight up not render at all. Anyway, let's go into the database so we can actually make this animation. We're going to go into this, and we're going to insert a new animation. Let's call this rainbow effect for each target center of the screen. Oh, we forgot something. The particle effect. Yeah, that's it. So we're going to look for the, our rainbow effect that we just made. Oh boy. This. All right. Okay, let's set the flash to, uh, this will work. 
Okay, frame 10 for the frame. You could actually play around with this and whatever you want. Next, we're going to add a sound. Like, how about just something like... Uh, Oh, Ice 9 sounds pretty good for this. Alright, that looks pretty good. Once we're done with this, we can hit the OK button and it'll save our effect. And that's everything you need to know in the essentials of making custom animations. Feel free to play around with all the colors and stuff in the, in the uh, effects here. Or you can just plan to learn effects here by itself and like some custom animations from scratch. I will probably not cover how to actually use effects here, but if you guys want to have me do a tutorial series for effects here, feel free to see if you want it in the comments. Anyway, this is Windyware Inc., and I'll see you guys next time.